How the heck did that get in the appendix? Here are some more of the most bizarre things ever found by doctors in the human body. It was only a matter of time given how many kids were playing with them. But in 2017, a fidget spinner meant an unexpected trip to the emergency room. A 10-year-old girl was playing with a noisy toy that was the bane of teachers everywhere when she realized it had gotten dirty, so she decided to clean it. And naturally, the best way to do that was to stick it in her mouth and suck it clean while riding home with her mother. But the bumpy car ride jolted her, and the next thing she knew, she had swallowed the metal disc. She was choking, her mother rushed her to the hospital, and doctors were able to perform endoscopic surgery and free her esophagus. Fidget spinners faded from the public eye soon after this incident, as worries about the popular toy being a choking hazard increased. But for most kids, the most likely danger was only going to be a sprained finger or two. But some people have swallowed more dangerous things. When a Croatian man went to the hospital for x-rays, doctors discovered something truly shocking, an intact lighter sitting in his stomach. And it had apparently been sitting there for a full 17 months. It all started when he was arrested on suspicion of smuggling drugs and decided he really didn't want to lose his lighter. Naturally, this concerned the doctor. Lighters are full of toxic chemicals and the stomach acid might have caused the device to break down and leak. After no doubt having a few minutes of confusion at the x-ray, the doctor put the man under and used a snake-like device to remove the lighter in a minimally invasive operation. And there, they found out that this crook was smarter than the average smuggler. He had wrapped the lighter in cellophane, keeping it protected for the duration of its stay in his stomach, and probably saving his life. Not smart enough to give up on the lighter when arrested, though. And sometimes, when you stare at the x-ray, it stares back. These days, certain characters are everywhere, few more than SpongeBob SquarePants. The friendly sponge is on lunchboxes, t-shirts, and even theme parks. But he's not supposed to be on x-rays, which is why it was all the more surprising when a 16-month-old boy's throat trouble revealed a familiar face on the x-ray. It was the Bikini Bottom resident, grinning away. But although the image was more like a horror movie reveal, the actual cause was a lot more mundane. The boy's older sister had a SpongeBob pendant, and the curious little boy got his hands on it and promptly swallowed it. Doctors were able to remove the pendant easily, and the little boy had a clear airway once again. But the family likely had a different taste in cartoons after this close call. Sometimes, getting too active can have its drawbacks. The Misfit Shine is a popular tool for tracking physical activity, and in South Korea it's even common for kids to wear it. One 13-year-old girl got a little too into it, wearing it during running, bicycling, and even swimming. But it was that last one that proved to bring her a little too much activity. She put the tracker in her mouth to keep it running while she was swimming laps around the pool, and promptly swallowed it. She rushed to the doctor where they advised her to let it pass on its own, uncomfortable but safe. But after more than a day, it stayed lodged exactly where it was. The doctors broke out their trusty endoscope and managed to lasso it out, removing it the same way it came in. The girl didn't suffer any serious ill effects, but most surprisingly, the misfit shine was still ticking away. Maybe the producer should cut an advertisement, takes a licking from stomach acid and keeps on ticking. But that's far from the most embarrassing thing people have swallowed. It might be a teenage rite of passage, two sweethearts are making out and one of them accidentally swallows the other's gum. Ew. But they've got nothing on these two young at heart lovebirds. An elderly couple was kissing passionately, but the husband had failed to use enough fixident on his dentures that morning. And they slipped off, right into his wife's mouth and down her throat. The next thing she knew, she had her husband's false teeth in her digestive tract. And a crazy story to explain to the doctor, no doubt. The curved shape of the dentures makes them tricky to remove and prone to getting lodged in dangerous places, so the doctor opted for surgery. She made a full recovery, but no matter how much those dentures were washed off, we're guessing her husband decided to get a new pair. This one has happened often enough, you'd think Romeo's would know better. Is there any more dramatic way to propose than putting the ring on top of an elegant dessert? Well, just better hope your sweetheart doesn't have an overactive sweet tooth. No one wants her to bite in and wind up having to go for emergency dental surgery. But for one woman named Caitlin Whipple, things went from bad to worse. She didn't even bother to chew. She swallowed her intended engagement ring whole off the top of her milkshake and didn't even notice until her boyfriend stared in shock. When he tried to warn her, she laughed it off, assuming it was a prank, until he convinced her to get an x-ray. And there was the ring in her stomach. The small piece of jewelry passed naturally with the help of a high-fiber diet. And we assume, after some thorough scrubbing, the hungry girl's boyfriend got down on one knee and proposed, this time without a milkshake in sight. This next incident happened during a much less pleasant activity. An Indian dentist was hard at work on a four-year-old boy, a difficult job in the best of times. And the unfortunate boy was undergoing a lengthy root canal, something that's not even easy for adults. 
so it wasn't surprising when he suddenly moved his head, but he moved it at the exact wrong time and the precise tool used for root canals, called a protaper file, went directly down his throat. The sharp tool is so small that the dentist wasn't even sure he had swallowed it or inhaled it into his lungs, which would be a much bigger problem. But doctors managed to locate the device within his stomach, and it didn't seem to be damaging his digestive tract, so they decided to wait it out, and he eventually managed to pass it safely, without surgery being needed. But that didn't get him out of his return visit to the dentist's office. There's no shortage of bizarre things kids swallow. A 15-month-old girl in Hong Kong was rushed to the hospital after having trouble breathing, but when the doctors x-rayed her, they couldn't figure out what the object in her chest was. The first guess was a hairpin she had taken from her grandmother, but upon looking down her throat with an endoscope, they saw something shocking, literally. Whatever was in her body was capable of lighting up. It turned out to be an LED bulb, and it was thankfully completely intact because a broken light bulb in the human body could be fatal. The girl was okay for now, but the doctors had a tricky operation ahead of them to get the light bulb out of her windpipe. They carefully removed it piece by piece using forceps, avoiding stretching her airway or causing damage to the light bulb that could cut the girl's throat. But it's not only the young who wind up with things they shouldn't have in their stomach. A 76-year-old woman had been struggling with abdominal issues for a long time, and now she was rapidly losing weight and having trouble going to the bathroom. The doctors gave her a CT scan and used a scope and discovered the shocking culprit, a felt-tip pen lurking in her digestive system. When they asked her how long it had been there, they got a hard-to-believe response – 25 years. When she was only 51, she was trying to scratch her tonsils with the pen, slipped and accidentally swallowed it. She tried to tell the doctors and her husband, but they couldn't find any evidence of the pen, and told her she must be imagining it. The pen had miraculously stayed intact all those years, never leaking into her stomach and potentially poisoning her. While her symptoms were relatively minor, doctors decided to remove the pen and gave her ammo for the world's biggest I told you so at home. But some people wind up in an uncomfortable situation due to bad judgment calls. When an 18-year-old woman went to the hospital to tell the doctor she had swallowed her toothbrush, they quickly investigated and found a massive 8-inch dental implement lurking in her stomach. Fortunately, the toothbrush was blunt on both ends and wasn't damaging her digestive system, but it did stand the risk of obstructing progress through there, so the doctors removed it with the scope. She made a full recovery, but the reasoning behind it winding up there was a little more troubling. After talking with the doctor, she confessed that she had a serious eating disorder and had been using the toothbrush to induce vomiting, and was eventually sent home with a clean bill of health, and likely a referral for counseling. Her accidental swallowing mishap might have wound up saving her life. But no one failed to spot check worse than this next guy. No one likes being in prison. Not only are you locked up, but the odds are they're going to confiscate all your stuff. So much for keeping up on your streaming shows. And the odds are you're going to lose the argument with Stabby Joe about what to watch on the common room TV. But one Irish prisoner went a little too far with trying to keep his phone. He swallowed it before he was taken into custody, no doubt hoping to pass it naturally and then use it in his cell after a thorough scrubbing. However, the unfortunate inmate's digestive system became obstructed and he had to be taken to the hospital to get it removed. Doctors tried to use a scope to pull it through his esophagus, but it kept on getting stuck and they wound up having to perform stomach surgery to remove it. But hey, that's a lengthy recovery period and maybe the hospital had something good on TV. Those were all bizarre cases, but some happen more often than you think. What's one of the most dangerous objects to accidentally swallow? It's not poison, it's the humble toothpick. After all, it seems kind of ridiculous that we're sticking sharpened pieces of wood in our mouth so often, when even a split-second startle could make us swallow them. But there are other reasons that toothpicks are so dangerous. Their sharp, long structure means they could easily get stuck in a narrow pathway like the esophagus or intestine and cause internal bleeding. But they also won't show up on CT scans or ultrasounds because they're made of wood and don't register the same way. That means that when doctors hear someone swallowed a toothpick, odds are they're going in for surgery and to remove it before it makes its way out of the digestive lining the hard way. But one food item is much more dangerous if ingested. You're digging your way through a piece of trout when suddenly it happens, a fish bone stuck in your throat. It's only seconds before you're able to cough it up, but they feel like hours, and now you really don't feel like going back to your dinner. This is probably the luckiest outcome of swallowing a fish bone. Studies show that fish bones are the most common foreign body to choke on or swallow in Asia, and they're particularly dangerous for a few reasons. For one thing, they're organic matter and won't show up easily on scans. They're also well hidden, often pale and thin, and someone can easily swallow one while digging into a relaxing dinner. But the real problem comes when they actually make their way into the esophagus and beyond. While beef or pork bones are hard and unlikely to swallow, 
Fish bones are thin and sharp, and some can be long enough that they can actually damage the heart from the esophagus if they're pointing in the wrong direction. After eating, during eating, even before eating, this item can be dangerous if swallowed. Cleaning the grill can be a painful experience as you scrub like crazy to get every last bit of that burned grease out of there before grill season, but make sure you keep your mouth closed while you do it, especially if you're using one of those grill brushes with metal bristles. They're one of the most common foreign bodies to swallow, causing almost 1,700 emergency room visits between 2002 and 2014. But no one's intentionally eating them, right? We hope not, but that doesn't always protect people. Vigorous scrubbing can knock some of those bristles loose, especially if that brush has been used many times and someone can accidentally inhale those small, sharp bristles without even noticing. Because they can easily get stuck in the tissue of the digestive system, it usually takes an invasive operation to find and remove them, so it might be a good time to switch out your brushes. But one object is a new arrival and might pose a bigger danger than any other. Kids swallow all sorts of things, especially if they're small and round. Hey, shaped like candy must be candy, right? Toddlers have been swallowing buttons for decades, and the advice to parents is usually the same. Keep an eye out for it to show up in the diaper. The joys of parenthood, right? But one type of button is a very different story, button batteries, the type that's used to power many portable devices. These are lithium-ion batteries that are packed with electricity and toxic chemicals, and doctors have advised parents whose child swallows one to rush them to the hospital immediately. Not only can those get stuck and cause choking, but the exposure to liquid can cause electrical and chemical burns. When a three-year-old swallowed one of those button batteries, he required emergency surgery, and it was several weeks before his throat was completely healed. Doctors estimate that there's a two-hour ticking clock to remove the battery before it becomes life-threatening. But some people have wound up with truly bizarre things in all parts of their bodies. It's a rite of passage for kids. You lose a tooth, you put it under your pillow, the tooth fairy pays a visit and pays market rate. But what if a kid really wants to keep their tooth and isn't taking any payment? One little girl had an uncomfortable way of keeping her tooth hidden. She stuck it in her ear. Unfortunately, it went in a little too deep and she was soon complaining of a serious earache. After her parents weren't able to remove it at home, they took her to the doctor, where it was removed using tools, making it probably the first tooth extraction ever performed on an ear. We wonder if she ever did wind up getting that payment from the tooth fairy. Hopefully the fairy didn't ask where it had been. But it's not the strangest thing found in an ear. A 12-year-old boy had ear problems of his own. Not only was he suffering from ear pain and couldn't hear properly out of it, but he could swear he felt something moving around in there. The boy was taken to the doctor, who used a pair of tweezers and removed a full-sized moth from his ear canal. Not only that, the moth was still alive and tried to fly away. This might have been a case of the moth looking for a nice place to hide and getting stuck. Those ears are not a good vacation home. The ears are an inviting target, but the eyes are also vulnerable. A United Kingdom woman came into the doctor for surgery to remove her cataracts, but the doctor noticed something very strange. She had an odd blue lump on her eye. Was this some sort of growth? The woman wore contact lenses but didn't have any other known health conditions besides cataracts. The doctor investigated and they were shocked by what they found. The lump was a collection of contact lenses, 27 in total. The 67-year-old woman had just been adding one contact lens onto the others for who knows how long, and well, they all became fused together by the mucus in her eyes. The doctors carefully removed them and her eyes were covered, but the doctors likely shared this story over several stiff drinks that night. It wasn't the worst judgment call someone made about putting something in their body. A 25-year-old prison inmate was brought in with extreme stomach pain and the doctors investigated with x-rays. They found a collection of razor blades stuck in his body, and the inmate actually admitted that he had swallowed them. Maybe he had tried to use this risky tactic to get out of prison, and it worked for a time. The inmate wasn't very smart, but he was extremely lucky. Somehow, the razor blades had all lodged in his appendix, the least necessary organ in the body. After a routine appendectomy, he was on the mend and headed right back to the Huskow. But one guy took eating things that weren't food to a whole new level. Todd Robbins was a traveling entertainer in the 1980s known for one particularly crazy trick. He could eat almost anything. While he wasn't as versatile as the legendary Michael Lotito, who once ate a whole plane, Robbins had a specialty. He loved to eat light bulbs, and not just swallowing them whole like that unfortunate baby. He would crunch the large light bulbs like they were a nice juicy apple. While this could normally result in fatal injuries, as even a slight piece of glass out of place could cause fatal tears in the digestive tract, Robbins didn't have any such problem. The sideshow magician had a mystery technique that allowed him to eat them safely, in a similar way that sword swallowers avoid damage to their insides. And he continues to pull off his trademark trick to this day. 
His insides are as strong as ever, but his dentist continues to make a killing. Robin says he occasionally chips teeth on the glass. And dating back decades, he wasn't the only person to pull off this crazy trick. Chaz Chase was a star in the days of vaudeville, where you either sank or swam live on stage. And Chase had one trick that killed every time, eating cigarettes. Not tasty or healthy, but it didn't seem too harmful, right? Except that before swallowing each cigarette, Chase would light it and swallow the flame, doing this hundreds or possibly thousands of times over his long career. When this trick wore a little thin, he stepped up his act, swallowing flaming cigars live on stage. While he also ate other objects like cardboard and flowers, nothing killed quite like his fiery act. But it nearly got him into trouble with border control once. When visiting the land down under, Australian border authorities stopped him. He was carrying so many cigarettes that they assumed he was a smuggler, not a performer. But his odd habit didn't seem to hurt him. Chaz Chase lived to a healthy 82 years old. But no one made a career out of eating things like one man. Michael Latito might have been known for eating a plane, but that was far from his only trick. The man who was known for eating anything became famous for one stunt after another, including eating a total of 18 bicycles over the many years of his career. His stomach lining was twice as thick as the average person, and he kept his throat nice and slippery with a hefty daily dose of mineral oil. But he had to worry about the impact of this unusual diet on his health. And as he was getting older, he dealt with it the only way he could, eating an entire coffin, handles and all. Did this make him feel better about his mortality? We don't know, but we don't think it scared off the Grim Reaper, because Michael Latito eventually died of natural causes after winning an award for the world's strangest diet from the Guinness Book of World Records. But some people took their bad habits to the extreme. When a 62-year-old Frenchman came into the emergency room complaining of stomach pain, the doctors were shocked to find a huge mass in his stomach. He went under the knife to remove it and make sure it wasn't cancer, and the doctors were stunned to find 350 coins in his stomach making him the closest any human being has ever come to being a piggy bank. The man had pica, a condition that makes people ingest objects that aren't actually food, but few take it to this extreme of a level. He recovered fully from surgery, was given the opportunity to seek counseling and get his disorder under control, but more importantly, he got all his change back. Hopefully, they fully cleaned it with a better place to store it. But one woman got an unwelcome surprise in her daily snack. Some people just can't keep their thoughts to themselves when they see you eating a hot dog. How could you eat that? You don't even know what's in it. But that turned out to be true for one woman more than average, because she didn't just eat some mysterious meat parts. Her Costco hot dog had something hard in it that she only noticed when she swallowed it, and soon found another similar object in her hot dog, and then was shocked to discover that it was a bullet. When she went to the doctor, they advised her that she would pass it naturally and she didn't need surgery. While she recovered with no ill effects, it left everyone with one lingering question. How do two bullets get into a hot dog? The best guess is a meat processing mishap, where the animal it came from still had some stray bullets in it that made their way into that delicious mystery meat sausage. Some people really didn't think things through before they made a move. When a man came into a hospital complaining of a stuck candle, doctors weren't prepared for what they found a foot-long candle inserted firmly into the man's rectum. Turns out he had been trying to reach his prostate, only for it to get stuck a little too deep and then disappear into his digestive tract. The doctor set out to remove it, but there was one problem. It was starting to melt. It may not have been a fire when he inserted it, we hope, but with that human body at 98.6 degrees, it was starting to get soft in a hurry, meaning the doctors had a tricky and sticky procedure ahead of them. But for bad ideas, nothing tops this last choice. An ER doctor came home one day with the scariest story he had ever encountered in medicine. A man had been suffering from a painful and itchy hemorrhoid and was seeking anything to relieve his pain. He found something that literally scratched that itch, an old 50 caliber bullet that he had in his firearms collection. But one day, while using that bullet to probe his rear end, it slipped in a little too deep and vanished up his rectum. He went to the hospital, and after x-rays confirmed the bullet, the hospital went into crisis mode. The bullet was live, and one wrong move could cause the machine gun caliber bullet to explode. An arms team was called in to defuse things and ensure the doctors were able to remove the bullet safely, and the victim and doctors eventually made it home safely. After a far more harrowing day than proctologists were ever taught to expect in medical school. Want more shocking stories from the medical field? Check out the world's craziest ER stories, or watch this video instead.